Hello everyone and welcome to this short instructional video. I am Christine and I will be showing you how to estimate sex in adults by using the three fenestrates. traits. The three fenestrates traits are located on and around the os pubis which makes up the anterior portion of the pelvis. The three traits are very characteristic for either men and women and they were first described by Fennis. I have the original research article right here in which there are detailed descriptions of what the traits look like in men and in women and there are also images of what they look like in men and in women. So, the first trait that we will be looking at is the ventral arc. The ventral arc is located right next to the pubic symphysis on the uh, frontal aspect of the pubis. Um, now what this is, it, it means that there can be uh, uh, the pubic symphysis can either be straight or there can be kind of a ridge of bone that slopes away from the midline of the pelvis and this is more common in women. Now this ridge is actually something that you can observe on this pelvis quite clearly so this is a very female trait. The second uh, fenestrate trait that we will be observing is the subpubic concavity. Here we look at the ischial pubic ramus from the front and this means that we look at this piece of bone as it moves away from the pubic symphysis. And this bone can either form a straight line, which is more common in men, or it can be curved upwards, which is more common in women. Now in this pubic symphysis, you can see that there is a slight curve, but it's not very pronounced. So we can say it's more female, it is probably female, but not a very female trait. The last tennis trait that we are looking at is the ischial pubic ramus. The ischial pubic ramus uh, is this piece of bone, but this time we are observing it from a medial point of view, so from the midline. The ischial pubic ramus can either be quite broad and flat, which is more common in males, or it can be more narrow and it can form a ridge in the front, and this is more common in females. As you can see here, this piece of bone is rather narrow and there is definitely a ridge present, making uh, this a female trait. As you have seen, all three fenestrates traits uh, on this pelvis were either very female or probable female, indicating that this individual was probably a female as well. However, do you really have to keep in mind that to rely at a truly reliable sex estimation, three traits are not enough. We have to observe many traits, many other traits on the pelvis, as well as many traits on the skull and on the mandible.